Hi, my name is Janice, one of the Physio at Sydney Advanced Physio. Today I'm going to show you how to use the roller before and after your swimming. Rollers can be used to release muscle tightness in your body, which helps to increase flexibility and reduce pain in your body. Just don't roll over your joints like knees and hips. I'm going to show you six different areas to roll that are great for swimmers. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes. The first exercise to show you is how to release your bum muscles which can get tight from your swimming and kicking and also sitting at school. You simply grab a roller and sit on it and then release your butt cheek along the side on the both side right and the left side. If you want to add additional pressure on it, you can always cross this leg over, put an extra pressure on it and then roll on the side. The next three exercises are for your legs which can get tight from lots of kicking and also sitting down at school. Firstly, we're going to release the front part of your thighs. We can lie on it and just roll forwards and backwards gently. And to your side. And also the back of your leg hamstring. The exercise number five is to release your muscle called lats, which are often used when you're actually pulling through in the water. With this one, you shouldn't be feeling any pins and needles or numbness or any pain throughout these exercises. So please be gentle. So you can try on the right side and then turn around and try the other side as well. The exercise number six does two things. It stretches your chest and it stretches your back. Your chest can get quite tight during swimming and it can also lead to your shoulder injuries. So grab a roller and we're gonna lie down on it. You have to place your bum on the, on the roller as well as your head. Feet are on the floor. Then we're going to simply open your arms out to feel the chest being stretched. If you can, you can have your arms resting on the floor. However, you should never feel pins and needles or numbness or any pain in your arms while you're doing it. And try to stay there for about 20 seconds to feel the stretch. I hope you find these videos helpful. And if you have any questions or if you need help with any of swimming injuries, please contact us with a number below. So one of our physio who's specializing in swimming can help you with those injuries.